Hello, hello. What? It's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and I'm back with Nate and Tenzin in more Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Anyway, in, uh, in our previous episode, I had a couple of platforming deaths, and uh, we just ran into the uh, supernatural creature for this game, which is, uh, of course, uh, one of work. the abominable snowmen. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to continue scaling this, uh, this series of cliffs here to find whatever Schaefer and Tenzin <laughs> want to show us. Schaefer is our uh, our benefactor in the Nepalese village that uh, Tenzin hails from, who uh, helped save us from uh, from a certain you know death from blood loss and uh, exposure following our, our fight on the train. Anyway, uh, I haven't been playing Uncharted two for a couple of days, so I guess that was kind of reflected in a couple of silly uh, platforming deaths that I had. I guess my goal here is to have uh, at least. Uh, you know, just just one platforming death. <laughs> I think uh, a couple of videos ago, maybe at the the very outset of Uncharted, back in the first game, Drake's Fortune, I mentioned that most of my deaths wouldn't be combat related. Um, huh. Must be getting somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely going to be platforming related, and it definitely shows when you haven't played this game, just like any other game, um, for a couple of days. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of Chapter 17, Mountaineering. We are now in Chapter 18, Heart of Ice. Come on, Tenzin. Here we go. It looks like we've entered some kind of monastery, some kind of temple. Anyway, some kind of edifice. And, uh, whoa! Definitely looks like, it's, uh, looks like some kind of guardian deity. And I'm guessing this is the proof that Schaefer was talking about, about why it's so important to secure the Jintamani stone ahead of Lazarevich. Such a English Jeez. This is some pretty impressive architecture. It's, uh... It definitely, uh, rings bells of the, uh, of the temple that we found back in that large city. Man. Gotta go ahead and take that all in. Anyway, um... Looks like that these drums here, or whatever these cylinders are, Looks like we're going to have to do some shimming across back and forth. And it looks like we need to get to that central platform. Alright, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm guessing we have to start by scaling one of these walls here. That's it. Stand on that other switch. Or not. <laughs> totally forgot about these, uh, these floor buttons here. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to be the uh, the first one to uh, do some platforming here. So let's go ahead and get things started. Whoa! Jeez, it's kind of a shame that they had to crumble like that. Anyway, we have some yellow markings here. Let's go ahead and scale these sculptures that just came out. Jeez, for a minute there, I thought this thing was timed. There we go. Okay. And some more flagpoles. Let's go ahead and orient ourselves the right way. There we go. And finally, some solid ground down below us. Anyway, I'm not really too familiar with uh, with the sculpture in this part of the world. Uh, the only thing comparable that I've seen to it is uh, stuff that I saw at a collegiate Chinese art history class. But as you can imagine, uh, it's a little bit different. I'm wondering if there's anything like this in this part of the world, you know, in, in real life. So uh, anyway, we got to get these cylinders down lower so that we can start scaling them. There's a staircase here, so let's go ahead and take Tenzin. it. Where's Tenzin? <laughs> oh, there he is. It's right there. Let's see if uh, there's anything down here. Oh, hey. Perfect. Tenzin! Pull that switch! I'm guessing that we have to scale this thing simultaneously. Yeah. Or maybe not, you know, not simultaneously, but looks like they, yeah, they, they dropped and they're spinning. 
but it looks like this particular puzzle requires two people. So, um... I guess that's why uh, Elena wasn't going with us. Okay, so let's go ahead and head up. I'm guessing, yeah, we need to continue scaling this thing. And eventually... Flip over. This looks like a good time. Perfect. Oh, and there's barriers, too. Looks like those things will probably knock you down. If you're not quick enough. Okay. I think this should be high enough, right? Can I can I face the right way? There we go. Perfect. Go ahead and drop down. I don't want to get knocked off by this thing. And then... We're going to have to get maximum elevation here, just to be safe. I think that's as high as we can go. Jump to this far platform. Whoa! A little bit further off to the right than I would have wanted, but um, we're still in one piece. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah. This far beam here looks like it's the uh, safer bet, so let's go ahead and take it. And... Interesting. I actually don't remember what to do here. Looks like that we can scale this this wall right here. Let's go ahead and orient ourselves right. Perfect. Whoa! Crumbling footholds. Never gets old in Uncharted. Perfect. And I guess we can tippy-toe here to the other side. Alright, very good. And now we're on top of this gear. It's going to slowly rotate us to the right here and we can get off. Uh, right before the gear enters the wall again. And you know, something's got to keep this, this gear from moving. I don't imagine that uh, the engineers who built this place would have relied on, on flowing water, especially in this cold environment. I wonder if, uh, you know, there's some kind of geothermal thing going on here. Jeez, okay, this looks kind of risky. Okay, looks like there's a beam here that I can jump to. I don't know if it shows up really well on YouTube, because it doesn't contrast well with the uh, with the gear rotating in front of us, but there's a beam there. I'm guessing we have to swing to it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing we have to wait for a break in the spokes, like that, to jump across. Whoa! Okay. Let's go ahead and head on this gear right here. And then from here, from here it looks like we have to, uh, to back jump. And then eventually drop off. Or not. <laughs> Never mind, there's some, uh, there's some handholds right here. Guess we didn't have to do anything that dramatic. There we go. Drop on down. And down again. And looks like Tenzin's down there already. The easy way. <laughs> looks like he had a much easier way than uh, than Nate did. All right. Well, um, interestingly enough, again, I don't remember where to go. Uh, huh? Is there anything below us on this side that we can use? Doesn't look like it. Maybe we can, uh... We probably have to grab that icy... That icy ledge right there. So, uh... Let's see if I can actually head down there. Whoa, looks like Nate's kind of freaking out. Can I just drop off on the other side of that ledge? No? <laughs> this not... Okay, um... Can I grab onto this thing? No. Oh. Ooh, good thing there was a hint for us. We have to swing and use this bar here. Aha! I see. I am an idiot. I was gonna drop straight down onto an icy ledge. Okay, uh, and there's some rope here. Looks like we have to use that to get to this wheel that you'll, that'll take us down. 
Whoa. Okay. Just make sure we got this jump right. There we go. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> Alright, we're safe. Okay, so now... God, this is just a really complicated way to traverse this room. Um, probably have to get onto this wheel, onto this wheel, and then use this as a ladder. And then use this as a treadmill to go up. Then I think just jump across, right? Okay, pretty simple. All right, so we are now finally on uh, <sighs> finally <laughs> on Tenzin's equivalent platform. Oh wow! Pull the switch on your side. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> that cylinder is going to take us out. Nope. But it did take out our arm bridge here, on our side, anyway. Right now, how am I going to get across? Interesting. Tencent still hasn't moved from his position, but uh, we are so close to the central platform... Actually, you know what? Why do we have to go across to the central platforms behind us? Anyway, um, ah, looks like there's some some gears there. Let's go ahead and take this uh, this ladder. Gotta get over there somehow. Well, guess I'm doing it the hard way. <laughs> it's uncharted. There is no easy way in uncharted. Everything has to be some kind of Rube Goldberg machine. There we go. And <laughs> on first glance, I thought I was supposed to drop down there. Good thing I didn't. Doesn't look like there's a, a level surface there for me to land on. Huh. Okay, there we go. Can I just hold on to this thing? There we go. <laughs> thought I'd have to do some weird, crazy shuffle. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Little camera freak out there. And uh, I'm guessing we get on this bar and uh, swing on over to those surfaces there. There we go. Oh. Make our way across, I believe. And jump. All right. Handy rope. And I'm assuming, yeah, we head downward, so let's go ahead and do that. Dead end. Okay. Okay, we probably have to ascend here somehow. So let's go ahead and jump on this. Onto this thing. Oh. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Come on. There we go. And up here. Come on, eight. Don't want to end up at the meat grinder here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. Now what? This place has definitely been a, a veritable cornucopia of, uh, of obstacles here. This is the monkey, monkey bars hey. and, uh, jungle hey. gyms to end all jungle gyms. <laughs> Alright, well. A 
hopefully I didn't uh, release something there. Hopefully I didn't kill Tenzin. Where is he? Okay, there he is. Looks like it's our turn. Come on. Yes, I'm here. Good reflexes. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering if uh, the reason why they wear those sashes across their chest is just to, you know, is to give their uh, mountain climbing partner something to grab onto on their back. Rotating? Oh, jeez, almost forgot to jump. Is everything collapsing behind us? Oh, it is, wow. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not a very welcoming face uh, when it has a beating heart open like that. Anyway, looks like we've made it to some kind of central chamber. In a cutscene. <sighs> Let's hope there's another way out of here. <sighs> Drake, tell a shot. This must be them. Must be Schaefer's team. Schaefer's expedition. Well, yep. Into money stone. Huh. Or resin. Kinda has them in a mint tin. Did you look at this? Looks like whatever killed him probably wasn't the uh the Yetis running around. Might have killed each other. These men were all shot. Yeah, Oh, that's the uh, Irman Sul. It's uh, the life tree. Under Nerbe. Oh, Jesus. They were SS. Uh, Nazis. Nazi? Interesting. Tenzin recognizes that word. Makes me wonder, you know, how extensive Nazi German research was in the area. Uh, you know, when they were at the height of their influence. What would a man become? Tenzin. Schaefer did this. Ah. Huh. Schaefer killed them. Mare, mare. Yes. It's the only way to stop them. Interesting. Huh. Sure. Shit. <laughs> we have to find a way out of here. Took the word right now. out of my mouth. It's definitely one of those things again. Or probably a whole group of them. And then anyway, it looks like Schaefer is the one who stopped them. And hey, MP40 ammo. So yeah, these guys are definitely Germans. If you guys aren't familiar with the SS, they were essentially the uh, secret police, the strong arm unit for the Nazi uh, Nazi Germany. Um, looks like hey, they were leading the research switch. here. There's just ammo all over the place. And doesn't bode too well in terms of the safety of the environment if the game devs are just littering the place with ammo. Oh god. Yeah, there's definitely more than one of them now. Oh jeez, and they're chucking... <laughs> they're chucking huge fingers at us now. Alright. Well. Probably not a good idea to just stay in one place again, just like before. Looks like Tenzin already bolted. Oh, man. 
it's chucking huge spears at us now. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't roll away. Oh, God. The elevator's down. Jump on. Jump down. Okay. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for uh, for somersaulting into them. All right, let's do this again. Get out of the way, Nate. And here comes the elevator, so let's just go ahead and take it. Come on! Attention! The elevator's down! Jump for it! You hit the attendant! What? Oh, jeez. Let's do more! I got Okay. Just how much destruction even two of those things would cause. We're almost done. Oh, no! And, you know, I really appreciate the developers not doing this as a QTE. Ow. Instead, uh, they force you to pull the trigger yourself. Oh, man, good thing that, uh, that attack didn't really destabilize the elevator here. Jeez. It's only one Princess. explanation. It's probably Lazarevich. Emma. I wonder if that's his daughter's name. Oh, thank God. Oh, Nate. What happened? It's Lazarevich. They found us. Emma, call. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Schaefer's daughter. Cut it. Mo Schaefer and Young Dudu. Schaefer. They went the other way. All right. Nate, this is our fault. We did this. Just stay here. We keep them safe. Come on. It's kind of interesting there. You notice Tenzin and Nate don't have the uh, PO8 pistols anymore. They have uh, they have the uh, 92 FSs. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. Uh, I've already gone well over my 22 minute mark here. So uh, next time we're gonna do Chapter 22 Siege. We're gonna see if we can break past Lazarevich's troops and rescue Schaefer and uh, Tenzin's daughter. So until then, like, favorite, and subscribe, leave a comment, and take care. Peace out.